set up the uh, Jetstream robotic cleaner, it's our entry level robotic cleaner. And see a couple of things that comes within the box. You have some um, vacuum port extension pieces here. There's two different sizes and you can see here if you zoom in on it, you've got one that sits a little prouder off the bottom of the cleaner. That's if you've got a heavier debris load in the pool, it'll just scoop up underneath a heavier leaf or a heavier piece of bark and take that into the um, vacuum ports, which you can see under here. So these just click in here, like so. And you select which one you need. You can only go one way. Let's click those in there. So we've gone with the lower profile unit. And take that one there. You can see they're both directed into, into the center point. But that'll get underneath it and the jet stream will actually push it towards the vacuum port there. And when you get in underneath here, it also comes with a couple of additional floats. Uh, just some polystyrene type um, floats there in case uh, you do need to get some more buoyancy into the cleaner. To access under the side of the cleaner, just take these two lips off here and take that out there. This is your catchment bag. So your catchment bag sits in here. Take these two harnesses off. And your catchment bag is what catches the debris. So if it were full, you just remove this um, bag as so. Empty it out into the garden or into a, into a rubbish bin, and you just um, you can just wash that in cold water, as it says on the label there. When you re-install re, uh, it, that blue label here lines up with this part of the cleaner. It says blue label goes here. To install the extra floats, if need be, they just break off in half here, and they go on here on top of these posts. It comes with a bag with a little washer and a screw in it, that just screws those floats to that post there as so. So if you need those, they go in there. Like that. For the application we're doing today, we're not going to need them, but that's how you put them in. If you do have a pool with more debris, or with larger debris, you can adjust the um, opening distances of these flaps here that let the debris into the bag. So that's open at full gauge now. If you didn't have such large debris, you could just slide that across there and you see it doesn't quite open as much. Slide that back across there and it opens all the way. So to get the bag back on, as like I said earlier, you've got your glue goes here, so you get your tag lined up. Just pull the bag over those two stirrups, down and around the uh, perimeter of the, of the plate. On the other side, you do exactly the same. Get the corners up to the top of the, the steel work there. Throw these back on. and then it should just slide back into the cleaner. Out of the way around. And we're done. That's now ready to go into the pool.